Hello, my name is SkillKevin25, and welcome to the How to Install Permissions EX for Bucket Servers. I will be using a Multicraft server, MC Pro Hosting, which will be my own server, and we're going to show you how to install it, how to edit groups, make a default group, and then get on your server, and I will show you what they look like. So, first off, you want to go to the web page, which is that, which I will also have in the description below. You want to go to download. That's just the features. Um, if you want to look at the features of this, it's really cool. I found this one to be the easiest permissions to use. I know a lot of people recommend group manager and stuff. Anyway, hit download, and it'll say keep. You want to hit keep, and it'll be permissions ex. Uh, it shouldn't be one or two. It should just be the one if you haven't downloaded it yet. Anyway, let me click down to that and that and that. <laughs> and you want to drag and drop it. I already have it right here. And once you do that, you want to go to your server, whatever your server is. And you want to go all the way into the, it says like that. And you'll see your server name and everything. What you want to do is go to files. And this is how you manually do it. And you want to go to FP, FTB file access. Log in using whatever your username happens to be and your password. Let it load for a few minutes. Sometimes it's slower or it just doesn't work. It's okay. We'll try again. And once you're finally logged in using your password, you want to go down to plugins. It's a plugin folder right there. You click on that. You'll wait for it to load. And then what you're going to want to do is directly go to upload. You want to choose the file, and what you can do, which is a lot easier, and I, this is why I like Google Chrome, you can just drag the downloaded folder, f downloaded jar file from your download section right there and click choose file. But I already have mine installed, so I'm not going to do that. But once it's installed and everything's done, you can go back and just, you got to go back again, back again. You gotta restart the server. Once it's restarted, you should have the about everything that you know, all the folders, files, and stuff that that jar file will give you. These files are they look exactly like this. I am going to go to config files. You can also do this in FTB. I'll show you how to do that after this. Um, wherever, whatever page your permissions. YML happens to be on. Mine is on number five. You hit that. You are able to edit your permissions finally. Um, you should see two permissions. One will be permissions YML and one will be permissions config. You can leave com the config folder alone. It's not really important. We can get into that on a later date if we have to. But basically, you just want to click your permissions YML. And mine looks like this. The one I am going to give you as a default will look exactly like this. It will be a very simple groups default true. You'll have the groups default, which is member, moderator, admin, VIP, and owners. What you want to do once you get this file, and this is completely, um, this will make you the in the owner group. You want to type in your name. So let's say your name happens to be my name, Kev5. You know, you just put that down. It'll make you, it'll put you in group owners with all the permissions an owner would have, which is default, world edit, essentials, and permissions. Now, for this exact permissions folder I'm giving you, you also want to install world edit and essentials, which is basically the exact same way that you install the one I gave the permissions EX, which is very simple. Well, anyway, once you do that, you can go to this folder, the permissions YML, and I will show you how to add stuff into it, add certain permissions to groups, add groups. Basically, let's say you want to add a group called um, the Kev Nation. Let's just say that, Kev Nation. And you would add the prefix, and let's say you want it to represent what Kev Nation is, so let's say at B, which will make it a nice sky blue color, and let's call it the K Nation. And then you'd hit that 
little thing yet. And that'll add the prefix K Nation to the player name. Next, you want to do permissions. And this is doing it by hand. You can also do it on your server, but I recommend this way because it's easier. You want to do that. And say you only want Kev Nation to be able to modify the world. And you add that like that. And you also want to give them the essentials ability, which is like slash home slash spawn. You do that. And that is a group right there that it's completely set up with the permissions you want it to have now i'm going to remove that because we don't want that anyway now i'm going to show you how to add permissions and the example i'm using is ultimate skyblock you can do this for any plugin you want anyway you're gonna you're gonna come to the first page which is usually the plugin you want to install permissions for you'll see commands and permissions somewhere on the bucket plugin startup page you want to hit that and it'll bring you to all the permissions now the permissions I would give a regular member are these ones and these ones but I'm not gonna show you all that I'm just gonna go with the first one which is USB island create this will give the members the ability to create an island so you hit four spaces you do the dash space and you can hit control V or you can type it manually I can I prefer pasting it in it's so much easier and you I just gave the VIP the ability to create an island on skyblock now you're going to want to give the VIP member whoever you're giving the group for all the permissions they will need for this um, you don't want to give them every permission for say because if you do um, they can have the ability to destroy other people's islands this is using skyblock for example remove islands ban people from islands and you don't want that this basically grief grief paradise right there for any player that knows how to do that and you won't want that to happen so make sure when you're adding permissions you add only the ones you want the members to have um, admins by default if you want them to have every permission right here you would do it simply like this using again ultimate skyblock as an example say owners you want them to have every single ability for that so they can edit delete and ban people you would do USB dot star that will give the owner and only the owner every single ability that ultimate skyblock has every permission and it's really cool and once that's all done, once you have your folder set up, you can go and you can go to FTB files, FTB file access, type in whatever your password happens to be again. And you're going to see something a little different once you get into your plugins. You're actually going to see a folder now called Permissions EX. You're going to want to click on that and you can see a permissions YML file you can click and delete that and then once you've deleted it you can go to upload choose file and my file happens to be right here on my desktop where I saved it as right here and you'd hit open and it basically would put it right there and you hit submit and it will upload it and once it's uploaded completely you'll open it up and you can edit it with all your stuff it's very simple and easy to do and finally once you got that all set up all done and you think your permissions file is perfect for your world for your server you'll want to run it and I, a lot of people like to restart the server but I don't really enjoy restarting my server that much it's just it takes more time to restart it than it does to do what I am going to show you a very simple easy way to do this you want to go to multiplayer join your server Mine's a little 23 person server. There's the spawn we're working on. Anyway, you're going to see that I have the o I am the owner of the server, which is uh, you know, if you I want go back and you can add yourself as owner like I said. But once you have that all done, you shouldn't have anything yet. You want to hit slash reload. This will reload your entire server without having to restart it. And once it's relo reloaded, which takes some time, It'll put you in a game mode. I'm going to game mode one so I don't die. And 
you should be able to type something like say this is a test and you will see owner right next to your name because if you followed my uh, exact ways of how to do this it will make you an owner really cool I like it a lot and I hope you guys it helps you a lot too like I said permissions YML will be in description this plugin download will be in the description um, and I hope you guys enjoy this video I hope you guys understood all of this video I hope this helps you out if it does leave a like um, it really will help me a lot subscribe for more bucket how to install uh, tutorials and until next time guys I hope you enjoyed this video and have a nice day